So is the SunPower 50 watt cell the perfect panel for apartment livers? Let's talk about it. What up, I'm I from Ask Ops Solar, where I like to keep solar simple. And this is the 50 watt SunPower solar panel that is flexible or not rigid. I mean, really is what it comes down to. And I wanted to talk about this because some people in the lives have talked about what are solutions for apartment um, dwellers. And I really struggled with that. Led's position is that, look, man, y'all need to get out of them apartments. And I dig it. One particular solution that I pose is if you have a neighbor who you're neighborly with, and maybe they have access to the balcony, then maybe you could pair up with them and, you know, you have to think about that. But I thought this would be a good idea. If you have a sun facing window, you could get some power. I hope that you have a big enough window or maybe a glass sliding door that you could just kind of put this in there. Glass sliding door. If you have a glass sliding door, you have a balcony. My bad. <laughs> anyway, what I'm getting at is that you have options with this panel. There is no, and to my mind, I haven't figured out a good solution for people who live in apartments. I'm sorry. I, I just, I don't know that there is a good solution, but this one is workable. Also, you could deal with the fact that this is a light panel. So even if you had to go outside and just sit it somewhere, you live in you know, a couple stories up, you could walk this down with a small power station, maybe a Go Labs or a Tenergy, your Jackery 300, basically any light power station. This would be fine. You sit it out there, man. You, maybe you have to sit out there for an hour, but it's better than carrying around a rigid panel. You could charge your power station up with your car. I mean, there, there are things, but after a while, it just gets tough. And this is maybe one option to have in your tool belt. If storage is a, an issue, you can slide this into a closet. I put it in between some blankets. Make sure that people know that it's in there so you don't break it because these are not cheap. I got it for a relatively good price, about 85 bucks. So I'm going to place this into my window. It is a summer month, so I don't know how much sun I'm going to get on this panel, but you be able to see what kind of results I got. You have to think be intentional about your situation. In the summer months, the sun doesn't face us in any capacity. It's largely overhead, so you may have some problems getting sunlight on this panel, but it is an option. All right, so I'm up here in my bedroom window. It's a pretty big window, so you can see it fits really good. There are grooves down in my window that's kind of holding it up, um, and I'm gonna connect some cables to it. I ran into an issue once I connected the cables in so I ran it up here so that I give it some vertical space to not pull the panel down. I also got really close up in here and slid the panel behind this little locking mechanism. I also want you to notice that this is shading the panel, which sucks. Hopefully your situation is different. So because of this, let me show you how much power is getting. So it is getting power, but half the panel is essentially shaded at this point. So it's not getting much power. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait and make sure that the sun or see if the sun shifts so that I'm not getting this shade on the panel. And then I'll come back. So it's changed just a little bit. It's not as much. We got a little more to go. And it's still getting about 3 watts. Which is interesting to know. You put any shade on these panels, the power falls apart. <laughs> All right, so I moved the panel into this crevice just a little bit because this was taking forever to get out of the shadow. <laughs> but let's look at it. You can see full coverage here on this panel behind my somewhat dirty glass. I'm not impressed, I must say. Oh man, five watts. <sighs> now keep in mind, this is the summertime. That sun is not pointing directly. Let me just show you what a sun is. The sun is right over there. Now, it is the summer months. This glass is dirty. Maybe that has an impact on it. And in the winter months, your sun will probably be more facing it if you have the kind of window that faces the sun in any capacity. So it gives you something. 50 watt panel giving you 10% output. <laughs> uh, that's not great, but it's something. I'm not trying to pitch this as a savior. I wonder what would happen if I opened the window and kind of set it outside of the window, just in the sun. Record this quick because there's a bee trying to come in here. A wasp. <laughs> so outside the window, no glass covering it, 20 watts. All right, I did that for y'all. I hate wasps. So, interesting development. You put it in the window, outside of the window, somewhere it's at, 20 watts. That's a lot better. So you have to think about a way to get this outside of your window to get better watt output. But that's that's promising. 
That's promising. You can also try and figure out, I mean, if like, and I mean, this is like stuff got really bad. Like if a hurricane just came through, it's gone now and nobody has power. You may want to entertain trying to figure out how to get this out of your window. It has what's called grommets on it. And maybe you tie like a, a fishing weight to it or a something. You tie something to it to keep it from like flapping and floundering if it's windy. Maybe you don't put it out there if it's windy, but you can figure out something. Get it outside of your window. Oh, you know what? Well, hit, dude, just hit me. Maybe you could turn it upside down and slide it up under that second pane. These cables, I'm pretty sure they are 14 gauge. You could probably figure out a way to get these and an extension into your window with some inventive ways. Lead Farmer uses a pool noodle. I use two towels in between each other to create a good little gap so it's not going down on the wires really hard. You have options. They're not good options, but it is an option. Honestly, you could even get a smaller like USB style folding panel and put it in your window, but because they fold, they don't have the rigidity or the structure to just stay in your window. I'm not gonna belabor the point. Ultimately, if you have any ideas, share them with your fellow viewers. Maybe you figured something out because you are an apartment dweller. Comment it down below. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer. Um, sometimes people posing questions to you gets your brain going and allows you to unlock solutions that you never thought about. I live in a house. I don't have to think about apartment dwelling, but I did think about you guys. I bought this panel so I could test it out and see what kind of output it could get. Oh.